Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report, your NHL Stanley Cup preview and prediction for tonight's game number five between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Colorado Avalanche. It is Friday, June 24th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your weekend. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. All right, guys, just like I've been doing throughout the entire uh, Stanley Cup playoffs, I'll give you the analytics and then I'll give you my own personal uh, opinion on tonight's game number five. Now, the bookmakers making the Avs a 183 favorite. The overrunner listed at 6. ATS forecast system play going to go with the Avs in game number 5. 3.2 to 2.8. The overrunner at 6.05. Let's take a look at the uh, daily market value index. I did have the Avs listed at minus 178. And uh, you can see you're right there at 183. So, fair market value if you do like Colorado here tonight. A little bit expensive, but hey, 3 1 in the series. And they're looking to close out tonight. Chance of winning this game tonight. Colorado at 55.6%. 39.4% for the Lightning. And your Kogo right there at 39%. And uh, let's get to your uh, some of your fun facts. In fact, uh, no, <laughs> in fact, hey, there's a double pun right there. Um, looking at Colorado, 32 um, and 18 on the road. But 39 and 11 at the uh, Ball Arena this season. And uh, Fort Tampa Bay, well, they're not as good on the road as they are at home. At home, they're 35 and 16, but on the road, only 29 and 23. 5 and 5 in their last 10 trips to Colorado, 6 3 and 1 to the over. And when you look at Colorado at home against non conference opponents this season, I don't know what it is with Colorado and Tampa Bay. Whenever they at home facing those non conference foes, 16 and 2 for Colorado. And when they're coming off a road win uh, or a, just a win, 29 and 10. So when Colorado's at home coming off a win, 29 and 10. Uh, road win as an underdog, but you know not a lot of recurrences because when was Colorado a really an underdog on the road, right? All right, there you have it. That is the uh, fun fact right there. Oh, look at this! Anytime Colorado's at home, coming off a one goal win, 11 and three. So you see where I'm going with this, right? And uh, and you guys know I had to Tampa Bay to win the Stanley Cup all the way. I even liked them in this series, but as soon as I saw that first game of the series and I saw the speed of Colorado, I said this. Is gonna, uh, Tampa Bay could be in trouble now going into tonight's game number five um, th this is a uh, this is do or die obviously for the Tampa Bay Lightning when you look at uh, the um, uh, some of the, uh, the the top guns for Tampa Bay you look at Kucherov Stamkos you know offensive like Stamkos has been defensively you can't take anything away he's been blocking shots he's been doing his leadership role as a captain very good captain uh, same thing with Landis Gog uh, but uh, guys um, looking at tonight's game there's something wrong with Kucherov Kucherov, when you look at remember the Rangers series, he was just dynamic. He was the best player in the series. He's unfortunately, and I love Kucherov. I think he's a great hockey player. He's been invisible in this series, right? And when you look at the the forward lines for Tampa Bay and Colorado, it's been pretty much a homer series. You know, when you know Colorado at home, their top guns are going. Tampa Bay, um, so, except for that last game. You know what, what was really weird about that first game is the second game in the Tampa Bay. They got out to that early one nothing lead. And they did not take advantage of it, right? The one thing in playoff sports, whenever you got momentum and the crowd on your side, you got to roll with that. But for some reason, uh, Colorado were able to shut them down. It's that Colorado speed. That speed is really hurting Tampa Bay. And when you look at the, the back end for the Lightning, Vasilevsky, you can't take anything away. He's standing on his head. Kemper was all right in game number uh, four. But going in tonight, I think this is good night. Lights out, Irene. Hey, I think this is it. I think this is where Colorado... Um, comes out early and just uh, forces the play to Tampa Bay and uses that speed. I'm looking at a 5-1 type game here tonight for Colorado. And it, it pains me to say that because I got a futures ticket on, on Tampa Bay. But you guys know me, right? I, I, I give it to you straight. And uh, sometimes, I, you know, I talk with my wallet, not my heart. And uh, right now, my wallet's telling me 5-1 Colorado tonight. I hate to, you know, I, I really hope Tampa Bay can make a series out of it. But, you know, now you got uh, Sorelli, who looks like is a game-time decision with that arm injury. Um, you know, going into game number, uh, was it game number two, where Colorado won 7 nothing. Now you got to think about th that situation. If you're Cooper and you say, okay, you know what, we went in game one and two and we really didn't compete. In fact, it was 3-2. Uh, uh, first, no, first one was what, 4-3. They had a 3 nothing lead. Wasn't that a 3 nothing lead? And then they won 4-3, to three, I think. Uh, I don't know if it was overtime or just late period uh, score, but uh, yeah, that was a close one right there. But really, it wasn't. 7-0, uh, complete blowout. And then you had a 6-2 Lightning uh, in game number 3, and then 3-2. Uh, they didn't take advantage of that early goal. But going into tonight's game, guys, I think uh, if the only way I can see Colorado, uh, Tampa Bay staying in this game and perhaps winning this game 
is they if they in the first 10 minutes they can just keep the crowd out of it and keep Colorado out of their zone but if Colorado goes in there in the first period and they score a couple good night Irene this one will be over in a uh, in a heartbeat all right there you have it that is my preview and prediction hopefully I give you guys another one here in game number six but we will see but I doubt it. <laughs> I really doubt it. I think it's going to be a 5-1. And, you know, it's uh, it's one of those situations of the public sentiment, right? Like 90% of the public knows uh, Colorado is probably going to win. But uh, we will see. We'll see. That's why they got to play the game. All right, there you have it. That is my preview and prediction on tonight's game. Number five between the Lightning and the uh, Colorado Avalanche. Good luck.